We're just going to run through the setup I'm using for ratting and uh, give it a mini review. I was using a torch previously with the red and green filters. The rats got pretty quickly climatized to that and they were getting harder to hit. So I wanted to get something in the budget night vision range, around about £150 I was looking to spend, which isn't much for night vision. A lot of them are £600 to £3,000, £4,000. I certainly didn't want to pay that for knocking a few rats over. So I found this setup on eBay, it was £120 and uh, it's a add-on setup so you do need a scope to begin with. So you can see I've got my BSA Ultra SE and I've got scope mounted on there as per usual and then we'll go through the, the parts of the setup here. So the company is Megarai, I've not heard of those before. Um, they weren't actually named on the eBay advert but uh, it was the Mega Rai 2 um, the box came in. So you have back here this part which sits onto the back of the scope and it's just grub screws holding it on. It does come with some camo tape there just to make sure you're not damaging the, uh, the scope, the housing, making any marks on the metal and then it's just a case of tightening that down. Then inside here you can see that's the camera and that's actually a thumb wheel in there that allows you to gain focus on the reticle of the scope. So you simply mount that, position it so it's um, nice and centered, get it squared down and then you just dial that in and that will, that will actually focus upon the reticle. Then we have here the top part which is the screen and then behind the screen you have the battery compartment and the on-off switch and then from here you have power running to the camera and you have power from the battery compartment running to the back of the screen and then it also comes with a clamp and it did come with an IR illuminator this is actually a different IR illuminator so the one that it came with was it worked just fine but it had no adjustability most don't you know it only had the uh, zoom function it didn't have any adjustability for power because I'm shooting in a farmyard and sometimes at very close ranges um, I needed that adjustability because on any night vision if you shoot up real close and you have a very powerful IR it will just wipe the, the picture up and it'd be hard to see so we've got the screen it comes with this Velcro which you can actually fit a hood on. I haven't used the hood yet but it would certainly be useful if you were having some awkward lighting conditions or something. And then the real reason I chose this setup was because on the back you can see it's got a space for a, SD, a micro SD card which I wanted to be able to record the footage of the screen. The adjustable illuminator I found on Amazon. It was branded as the Fox XB5 adjustable IR and the IR power just adjust with the pinwheel at the back and you've still got the ability to adjust the zoom of the IR on the front to get a um, enclosed beam or bring the, the beam outwards. So we take a look at the back here obviously we've got the battery compartment on off switch and here we've got buttons for on off menu and the operation of the menu and then we've got the photo and video buttons over the other side so once you've got your camera screwed onto the scope it's just a case of turning this on holding the right hand button down that should give us the screen you can see it's booting up and then on the back here there's actually a button for switching between day mode and IR mode so we're not going to be able to see much on the screen because unfortunately the camera on this phone doesn't pick things up very well you can just about see there, you can see some trees just down the end of the garden there about. It's about 40 yards down there. And 
You'll have to take my word for it. Like I say, the setup on this isn't ideal for videoing a screen, but it's absolutely you perfectly usable for day use if you so wanted to, if you wanted to do some videos for day use. Um, but then you just flick the button on the back there over for the night use and that switches you over to the, uh, the night vision IR camera and that's also in colour so it does pick up colour unlike a lot of the other budget setups which once you switch over to the night mode you'll only get black and white this one will pick up colour so if you've got an illuminated reticle it'll show the reticle colour and uh, it'll also show anything that lights up at night in, in the correct colour so you have your menu which you just hold down the middle button that takes you through to your menu screen you've got sight click record recording options date stamp options LCD off LCD brightness auto power off language date and time format the SD card default setting which will just return everything to the default and then that's just the version that tells you which version of software this is running so if you want to record it's just a case of either hitting photo which will take a still shot just click that button and it will take one save it to the SD or you hit the video button and that will start recording video and then you press it again to stop and uh, if you hold down those buttons one or the other it will actually show you the gallery so it will take you through um, the videos that you've already got it allows them to be viewed in uh, plus or minus uh, speed uh, or at standard speed and that's kind of a useful feature if you're taking videos for a blog or something like that you need to review what you've just shot the um, only slight issue I would have, and it's not really an, an issue with the kit itself, is that when you get these things, make sure you format the SD card on this piece of kit. Don't format it on a computer in a different format. Make sure you format it using this setup and leave it a few seconds. It'll say format and you might think, oh, I can turn it off now. Don't turn it off. Leave it for about a minute to format. And then once that's done, you're good to go. You can start recording. When you then go to your computer, the files will be saved as AVIs, which are kind of an old fashioned file type, I think. Um, but I just use any video converter and convert them over to the files that are suitable for my phone. So I convert these to a QA um, MPEG files, which suit my phone. And there's loads of options on that program. It's a free program actually, so it doesn't cost you anything. And you can convert them over to pretty much anything you want for any brand of phone. And then once you've done that, you can upload it all to YouTube or whatever you like. So, um, I haven't really got anything else to add other than this is great value for money. I haven't had any issues with it. It runs on 18650 rechargeable batteries, which don't uh, come with it. Um, but if, if you uh, go to a vape shop, they're the batteries that are commonly found in vape de devices. They're very cheap. They last ages. Um, I get a whole night's um, shooting, you know, I do about three or four hours shooting and um, it's still got plenty of battery life there and then I just bring it home and recharge and also I take a couple of spares out with me just in case and the IR illuminator that comes with this also runs on an 18650 battery as does the illuminator that I've bought. The illuminator that comes with it, like I said, it's perfectly usable and if you're knocking rats over at 30, 40 yards all the time, that would be absolutely fine. It's only because sometimes I'm shooting them at 5 to 10 yards in really enclosed spaces and then sometimes I'm out at 30 to 40 yards when we get out into the um, field parts and what have you.